The countdown to people's sexiest man alive of 2024 is on. It's coming out in November, but they just released a list of the subcategories, including the sexiest podcasters of 2024. And guess what? It wasn't us. So you win some, you lose some. It was Travis Kelsey and Jason Kelsey. They were named people's sexiest podcast hosts. That's not shocking to me at all. I just don't get the obsession with Jason Kelsey specifically. Why specifically? Like, why him he's literally not attractive. He's not attractive. I mean, people talk all His the time. His entire demeanor. Women, uh, women look for different things when it comes to attraction in men, and there's a vast uh, array of what might be considered attractive to women. I, I know that that's true. I mean, him but... being like, uh, I mean, I'm sure there's women that find the fact that he's like married and devoted to his wife for ex an extended period of time. But then he was like, don't and... call my wife a homemaker. Well, How dare you? I'm leaving that one out of it. But you know what I'm saying, right? They're like, look, he's a, he's a good, he, despite the fact that he's in a sport that would allow him to um, be unfaithful if he wanted to, he portrays a, a family friendly image. He loves his wife. He loves his kids. That's, that's nice. That's a good thing. And women would be yeah. more likely to uh, take that into account when it comes that's to very talking true, about the interaction actually. with somebody. You were asking if there was a sexiest woman of the year Do akin they to People magazine, well, they, but that's not a thing. Well, yeah. As far as I know, it's not as relevant as this one. It used to be back in the day when FHM and stuff and magazines like that were around and Maxim. But now to do something like that would be considered objectifying. But here's the thing, it's, um, it, it was objectifying. It was considered objectifying because it was objectifying. There would never be a Maxim Sexiest Woman of the Year dedicated to, you know, the sexiest mom of the year. Like there's no- there probably would have been. All of these people magazine subcategories are related to the man's personal life. Like okay. longest married sexiest man of the year. Like they're looking for the man who's the most devoted husband on the list, right? Yeah. Sounds like there like something... would never be something about like sexiest devoted wife of the year in Maxim. Like that's not a thing. Well, no, because would, they would never take into account their personal lives. It would just no. be about their physical appearance. No, which is the exactly the distinction you, you were just drawing. Like women would be attracted to his personality or at least whatever they think his personality is from the perspective of the public eye. You don't really yeah. know these people. They um they also named the the sexiest musician Harry Styles, which I am deeply offended about. Who would you have picked if you had to? If I had to, there's like literally nobody. There's mm. nobody left. There's no like I don't know what happened. Yeah. But there are no hot actors or musicians anymore. They're all gone. Like something is in the water. Yeah, there's it's turning a, the frogs gay. There's a certain performative level of social justice that has to be injected to all of these things. And I, I am able to be objective. Yeah. I think that if anyone were to deserve the sexiest man alive of 2024, it would probably be uh, Glenn Powell. Yeah. But personally, am I like, do I have the hots for Glenn Powell personally? Not really. But he had a hell of a year. Yeah. And he was, uh, yeah. you know, he starred in multiple movies. He did really, really well. <laughs> All of those movies did actually appeal to women too. Right. Like yes. When, when you look at it, both yes. uh, anyone but you and obviously women enjoyed uh, his character in Twisters because he got to play an actual like. That's macho. Alpha that's, male. Right. But yeah. that's like not what they're incentivizing in anymore and no. the fact that Harry Styles is even mentioned in the same sentence is offensive to me yeah. like he is just major soy and I never found him attractive in the first place yeah. I never understood the obsession at all but I pulled up the historical list of sexiest men alive it started back in 1985 and you go down the list and you can literally see it degrading over okay, time so who, who was it in 85 Mel Gibson. <laughs> we used to be a country, country, a proper country. They're like, look, we love his movies. Like, we don't care about his. Uh, yeah. This would never happen again. There's actually, you know why this would never happen again? There's no man like Mel Gibson in 2024. Mm -hmm. He doesn't exist. There's no such thing. That's like a, an extinct species of man. 
And then um, 1986, Mark Harmon, before he had gray hair. Interesting. I wonder what Isn't it that was. Funny? What was it in 1986 that he made? Was it when he played a serial killer? Um, Saint Elsewhere and Moonlighting. Yeah. Okay. All right. So no, no, uh, no Bruce Willis in any. Uh, was Bruce Willis ever on any of these lists? I'm still looking through, but I don't think he was. Okay. Um, Harry Hamlin was the next one. Then JFK Jr. Um, then Sean Connery, of course, another extinct species I of see, man. I see somebody in the chat mentioned Sean Connery. Mm -hmm. Tom Cruise in 1990. Perfect. C uh, a win. Can't let them get too old. A win for short kings everywhere. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I'm looking at the original cover for the Tom Cruise Sexiest Man Alive. And on the corner of the... The page it says abortion should you have to tell your parents see it the culture was already it, degrading it never ends <laughs> um patrick swayze 91 and nick so patrick swayze that would have been around the time point break came out so that makes sense yes um dirty dancing yep dirty dancing right um they even quoted demi moore saying he was a very sweet gentle kind heart with southern manners but also, he has a rugged, animalistic physique. <laughs> See, but she well, was crazy for the saying thing, that. The thing is, you're not allowed to to like rugged, animalistic no. physique anymore. Nick Nolte. <laughs> okay. I I've never even seen him before. What was he in? What uh, What year was that? Um, that was '92. Uh, guys, what do you think it was in 1992 that Nick Nolte would have um, gotten Sexiest Man of the Year? Like, what's the year after that? Um. The Prince of Tides? Okay. I, I don't know. I've never seen him in anything. The I difference is, is the, the men were still more ma were far more masculine back right, in the 80s right. and the 90s. I'm seeing Richard Gere. I mean, you're already there. You're getting into like um, romantic comedy territory. Right. right. Has Hugh Grant ever been? I don't know if he has. Um, Brad Pitt in 95, disavow. Disavow wholeheartedly. I have never understood why women found Brad Pitt attractive. He looks like a girl. It's nah. probably why he has such beautiful daughters, because yeah. he has a girl face. <laughs> He's not attractive, sorry. Um, Denzel Washington in 96. Okay. Then That's George awesome. Clooney in 97. Now he's like a, See, basically a metaphor for hot movie star yeah that's that's <laughs> my point is now when people say uh he's no george clooney they yeah. still use george clooney as the example they don't they have not updated that that unfortunately he went full-on crazy like tds turbo tds harrison ford in 98 didn't yeah. understand that one but i do understand that he's like a certain phenotype he's a certain yeah. archetype but I mean, he was also he did a lot of action movies through the 90s which means he builds up that charisma oh and my that goodness image. i think they gave it to richard Gere again wow how does that even happen you know, you know what that is? then they he's, gave it to brad pitt again you know what it is about richard <laughs> Gere? he was um patrick dempsey before patrick dempsey was patrick dempsey it should it's cheating if you get sexiest man alive twice yeah. you shouldn't be allowed to steal it from someone then pierce brosnan in 01 so the end of his Bond run. Okay. Ben Affleck in 2002. Okay. And Johnny Depp in 2003. Okay. Before the twink death. Yep. <laughs> um, Jude Law in 2004. Where has he been? I saw something about him. I literally just read something about him earlier. Like some He headline. looks a little more feminine yep. than the rest. Matthew McConaughey in 2005. That's but that's even that's a decade before the McConaissance that came from True Detectives. Mm -hmm. He needed a boost. True Detective. They gave it to George Clooney again, and then Matt Damon well, look, in 2007. I would, actually, I would actually find it weird if the guy who's still the the prototype for like sexy sexy guy he at is least not deserves it twice. Twice, you know, if if everybody has to say you're handsome like George Clooney then he should get it at least twice. Mm -hmm. So Matt Damon, then Hugh Jackman in 2008. Okay. Johnny Depp got it twice. Um, and then Ryan Reynolds in 2010. Eh. Disavow. Nope. Mm. Absolutely not. Bradley Cooper. Channing Tatum. I always thought he looked like a walnut. Adam Levine. That's funny. I think I just recently was talking to someone who said that he was like, actually very masculine for his time for 2012 for for like a male pop star in I that guess. era i don't know 
if I agree with that. I don't know if I agree Chris with that. Chris Hemsworth okay. was 2014. David Beckham in 2015. The Rock in 2016. I don't see him as anything. He's just The Rock. He's just, he just exists. He just kind of exists. Yeah. Um, Blake Shelton in 2017. I think every woman was like, I'm sorry, this was rigged. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Idris Elba in 2018. John Legend getting Sexiest Man Alive in 2019 was a humanitarian crisis. It was a war crime. It should have never happened. He's disgusting. He's gross. His wife is gross. Everything about him He's sucks. the one married to what? Tega, uh, Chrissy Teigen? Yes. Yeah. Chrissy Teigen is his wife. She's the only woman who has ever been attracted to John Legend. Mm. I'm sorry. Michael B. Jordan got it in 2020. He's an example of an actor who's a legitimate star now. Mm -hmm. Like, who's been around. I saw yesterday Lisa was saying she started watching The Wire. She's like, when does it get good? And I was mortally offended. Oh, level. yeah. I was she like, was just trying to give it a chance, but I was it, wasn't, like, it wasn't clicking. I was like, oh, here, I can tell you when it gets good. Start episode one, when it hits zero, <laughs> zero, zero, one. That's when it gets but good. But that's, we always talk about this. Like, I don't want to have to invest a week of my life to try to like this thing my that I don't like. My point was that it was good from the very beginning. According to According you. According to me. Well, I mean, I'm right, but, you know. Um, Paul Rudd got it in 2021. Another example of somebody Never who's ages. just unbelievably safe option. Safe option, but yeah, the Adrenochrome was hidden. Then Chris Evans just in 2022. Wait, what, year? what year? 21. Think about that. Clueless came out in 95. I know, and he's literally just hasn't changed. He got like two more forehead wrinkles proof, in that time. Proof that um, insane. if you can hold on for long enough, you can achieve your dreams. He must like hibernate during the winter inside a, like an artificial womb or something. Like I don't understand how Paul Rudd looks like that. I uh, I can appreciate it. He's um, the way I think of Paul Rudd kind of in the same way that I think of Chris Pratt, which is that uh, they're safe adjacent. Chris Pratt has his detractors because they think of him as vaguely right wing. Yeah. Um, because he wears Gadsden flag shirts and is real and I guess religious. But that's a, the future. Yeah. You know, like now it, that woke is dead. The uh, they're kind of in the same camp. And what's going to happen is Alan Richson will end up being that down the line. He'll just mm -hmm. be the the buffer version of both of them. And he's like super, super lib. Mm -hmm. Chris Evans is also super lib. He was 2022 20, and I don't understand why anyone finds well, him why wouldn't they choose him like uh, was there no robert downey jr on that list nope uh, not at I'm all surprised not even in 2008 him or chris evans wouldn't have won that or chris hemsworth when avengers endgame came out or avengers infinity war came out i guess you should take it up with women yeah. it's women's fault they mm -hmm. voted for it Patrick Dempsey got it last year see that again I, I seriously believe they're like there is nobody he, we're just going older and older because there's no one left. Yeah. <laughs> Mel Gibson in 1985. We should have just stopped there. It would have been a good idea. Because as far as I'm concerned, people, sexiest man alive, it's either rigged or women just don't understand what's attractive anymore because birth control has fried their brains. I just laugh at all of it because these types of discussions are so fraught with social dynamics now that you're not allowed to just have like... Yeah. Uh, a blasé conversation about these things. It has to mean something deeper socially. Right. Which is why it's better to be a dude where you can just... Like, oh, you're not yeah. allowed to find so-and-so attractive because yeah. he has this, like, opinion that I don't like. Or... Dudes can just be like, Sydney mm. Sw uh, I like Sydney Sweeney because she's Sydney Sweeney and nobody can really question it. Women can question it amongst themselves about why those things happen, but men are never going to look at it that deeply because men are not biologically programmed that way. Right. So you're saying they're shallow. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.